So I'm getting a lot of messages about PVP content. When is going to be the next PVP episode? Because we did start a series and episode six, we're going to be talking about PVP. Today's video is going to be about positioning. Let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Xfield and Hideout. My name is Ghost. If you guys have never been here before, I'm very excited you guys are here. Today, we're going to be going over episode six of the PvP series we started a while ago, and we're going to be breaking PvP essentially into a bunch of different categories. Um, pretty soon, we're going to be talking about how to fight teams as a solo, how to fight good as a duo. I have a lot of plans for more PvP content, and I'm excited for it. Before we get into the video, um, if you guys want, you guys can subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more free targets of content and thank you guys for everybody who's supporting the channel and has been subbing and liking the videos the engagement has been really really good for the channel so thank you so much if you guys also want to stop by and see some of this stuff happening live then you can come by twitch we're live every single morning except for some sundays and we have a good time so i'd love to see you there let's start talking about some stuff that has to do with pvp so before we get into the depths of this video um i do want to mention a couple things number one I don't make this content because I claim to be the best PVPer in the game. Actually, I know many, many, many people who are much better than me at this game, but I do do decent on PVP. I have some decent stats, which stats are easily cheesable in Tarkov, so I don't really like to ever flex stats or even talk about them for that matter, but I do have decent stats and I do survive um, a decent amount of fights. Um, the thing about Tarkov to realize is even the best players die and, um, dying often is something that a lot of people encounter in this game but there is some ways to help you get better and the reason why i like talking about pvp is because i like teaching new people and new players it seems like they struggle the most when it comes to pvp they don't know what they're doing the positioning is off the the thing about the pvp in tarkov is, a, is very very different than the pvp in apex legends and call of duty and it's not purely based on mechanical skills so you could be the best aimer coming from csgo in the world and come to tarkov and just get ran through over and over and over and a lot of that has to do with the fact of the way tarkov is played you can be third fourth and fifth party and not even know it you could have somebody sniping from a random bush through a window and see you on a hill behind a building and get a kill and you'll have no idea because there's no kill cam um there's no hud there's no like specific spawn where you know people are going to be because the spawns are around the entire map so it makes it a very very different pvp experience and then the other part of it is you lose everything when you die you literally lose everything so it makes it very punishing and it makes people scared to engage in pvp because they know every time they die they're going to lose everything and so um i wanted to come out with the series talking about that so with all that being said i just want you guys to know i don't think that i'm the best um but i do like to help people and i have been getting a lot of messages when are you going to drop another pvp guide um people have been liking the old ones so we're going to go over positioning because it's one of the most important things that you guys can learn when it comes to getting in fights we're in dorms which is one of my favorite places to fight and um a couple things to go over in tarkov one you need you guys need to understand that right hand peaks win fights Simply put, I'm going to talk about this in many of the PvP videos because it's super strong in Tarkov and the dev team has talked multiple times about not changing this aspect of the game and right hand peaks will continue to be dominant. You will see good players play ring around the rosy until they can get a right hand peak so that they can have an upper hand in the fight. What your goal is to either trade with a dominant right with somebody or force somebody into a left hand peak or a left hand swing giving you the upper hand that's something that we'll go over the main part of this video is going to be when to hold an angle when not to hold an angle and how to play holding an angle with somebody on essentially a 1v1 but to always be thinking about a 1v2 1v3 in the midst of fighting that one person when you're engaging one person down a hallway like i'm going to talk about right here and this is one of the biggest problems that i see and that's why we're going to go over it is because you need to realize that you need to play tarkov pvp like you would play chess you're not going to do very good in pvp in tarkov if you're thinking about the move you're making in that moment you need to realize that every decision you make needs to be a chain of decisions in chess you're not thinking about the decision you're making now 
you're thinking about the next three decisions you're going to make, and then you're thinking about the other two or three decisions your opponent is going to make. That is how you need to play Tarkov. Whenever you put yourself in a bad situation, you need to realize that you put yourself there. There was decisions made along the way that put you in that position, that put you in that room with no window, right? Like if I'm gonna be sitting in this, right, we're fighting with someone down here and I go in this room, I'm purposely putting myself in an area that I can get out, okay? When you put yourself in this room, you have to realize now you have to get yourself out of this because you are the one who made decisions to lead you to a room that is literally a trapped room, essentially, right? And there's ways to get to get out of this stuff. So, so definitely be thinking about that. Well, at the same time, be thinking about lines of sight, be thinking about areas that somebody could try to side bust you from, and that is gonna make you more self-aware um, in the fight. So ultimately, the mindset in Tarkov is not where you are, it's where you're going. And that will help you a lot um, to be able to expand what you're thinking about in the moment of your PvP fight. And don't stress in your first few fights, in your first 50, first 100 fights, you're gonna be stressed out. It's gonna be hard to retain information, retain even a form of thought because a really aggressive player is pushing you, etc. So that's what these videos are for. These videos are kind of to help you. And sorry for that annoying buzzing. The light above us is, is making that noise. So the first talking point, when should you be holding an angle? Now, if you guys come from a game like Call of Duty, and I'm not hating on Call of Duty at all. I love the game Call of Duty. I have a lot of friends who are COD tent creators and they're really, really talented individuals. And I think that there is a certain skill that comes with Call of Duty, Warzone and multiplayer. But one bad habit that people have from playing Call of Duty is they sit in a spot and they just super tight hold an angle and, and they'll sit there forever because in Call of Duty, you're so used to having a set spawn and having those spawns flip and you know that like your team is always essentially unless you have like a good flanker your team is always around you and behind you so you only have to focus on holding different lines of sight in these three lane maps tarkov is not like that tarkov is everywhere all the time all together it's a very very different experience so you don't want to get caught hard stuck on an angle and getting tunnel vision when you can get side bust from so many different places and also not knowing exactly where someone's going to be so to answer the question when should you be holding an angle the answer is only when someone is unaware of your location you should not be holding an angle if somebody knows where you are, you're asking to get pre-fired, you're asking to get killed by a better player, it's you don't want to do it. And so what should you do in this situation when you're holding an angle? So like, let's just say this is an angle and the reason why I'm sitting here, I'm gonna show you two spots that are some of the main fighting spots in dorms. One of them is somebody gets here first, they loot marked room, and then they kind of linger in this area, okay? Maybe they go all the way down, but ultimately they linger here. Now, this is not a bad spot for a good player, but it's a bad spot for a new player. Now, there's a lot of ways you can go about fighting in this spot. You can shove your way back and forth down the hallway until you get here. You have a right angle peak, so you can have like a very, very tight peak right here which makes it really, really good for fighting. You can actually shoot through this wood and pen somebody if you know that they're there. Um, you have the roof with different ways you can escape. You can be like the talented willers and you could drop down this window and go in second story. You can actually jump to this if you time it correctly and don't like break your legs and stuff. You can run all the way down here and you can drop onto this fence and you can get away. You can come right here and you can run and jump against this building. If you run and jump against it, you end up landing right here on the ladder. So there's there's many, many ways to get out of this position. The problem with sitting in this position is if somebody knows you're here, they're going to pre-fire you or they're going to get their team to gather around you in different lines of sight to make sure that you're not able to move. So you don't want to be in this spot for too long. When you are engaging somebody else, you want to be always making them think where you are. You don't ever want them to have the info of where you're at, like if they had walls. You're basically giving somebody walls when you hold an angle and you get hard stuck in an area and somebody else is moving all over the place and they've already seen you.
So when somebody's coming up the stairs, this could be a really solid spot if somebody doesn't right away peek it. And even if they do right away peek it, you should have a tight enough angle where I would be able to get this kill if somebody peeked the headshot. I know that they might be crouched or they might be up here. So it's going to be in this area is where they're going to peek it. The other spot that I could hold is down and they're going to be coming through this door and they're going to be running back and forth this way where you can actually come out more if you need to or switch up to where you're at. Now, when you see somebody, okay, I know you guys have seen this. You see somebody running by and they're running by over and over and you're like, what are they doing? What the heck, man? And you're, and you're just, and you're just sitting here holding the angle. This is a very, very common new mistake. I'm, I'm not hating. I'm really trying to help you guys learn what's going on in that moment. Look at what I'm doing though. Do you guys see? I'm trying to figure out where you are down the hallway. I can see clearly down the hall. I can see everything. I could see this area. I'm looking right here. I'm looking right here. A lot of people like to sit behind this. People lay on the floor right here. People peek this door right here in the bathroom. People peek mark room. People peek the hallway. So I'm going to keep going back and forth after I clear my area, right? And I'm going to I'm gonna try to see where you're at. Most likely, you're not going to be able to kill me when I'm running back and forth. And that's what people are banking on and better players are banking on. So I'm going to keep doing that until I see you. And what happens if I see you? All I do is I get myself prepared and then I, I pre-fire that area and I shoot you in the head before you're even able to react to the fact that I seen you because you're waiting to see me stop. But I already know where you are and I can go ahead and pre-fire that area. Um, or I can just lob a nade down there, make you move and then push you a bunch of different ways, right? So in that scenario, you don't wanna hold that angle. Which brings us to talking point number two, when should you not hold an angle or when should you stop holding an angle now it, it goes to the opposite of that question when somebody has seen you or somebody somehow knows where you're at and you feel like they know where you're at because of where they're shooting because of where they're throwing a nade they hear you move once your location is up stop holding that angle point blank period stop holding that angle I can't stress this enough. You have to move. It doesn't matter where you move, but you have to move. So one of the best things that I can teach you guys is a couple things. One, you need to make sure that you're constantly moving to keep them guessing. If he's running back and forth six times and he sees you here, you need to move here, right? He sees you here, you need to run up to here. If he sees you here when he's running back and forth, you need to move out here, right? Be looking like right here if he's gonna he's gonna pop his head over here maybe even lob a nade in there and then run back in here like you need to make sure that you are not in the location he last seen you because that player is trying to pre-fire you and so what i typically would do is when you put yourself in inconspicuous unassumable spots and then hold an angle again so what you want to do is you want to hold the angle first once your location is given up, the info has been traded, you wanna move locations and re-hold an angle or begin to push down towards the enemy and try to secure that kill. So the first thing that I would do if I have a good player that's over here is I'm going to move in a spot that they're not going to expect me to be, okay? So he's seen me right here. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, as I'm moving up, I'm covering my footstep sounds and he's hearing the shots audio. It's happening right next to him. So it's louder than it is for me. And I'm moving locations and now I'm up here. When he runs by again, he might see me. He might not, depending on if I'm peeking. If I'm peeking and he sees me, then I'm either going to run back here, right? And he's going to have to run by again and guess, did he run back? Did he just run in the kitchen? Where is he? Or I'm going to run to the next room. Another room that has another area that I can dip out of. I can fake run right not let him know where i'm at and then i can either re-peak this or i can continue to move up and continue to push forward you always want to be shooting which is why big mags are really nice when you're pushing up or use a nade or something to help you move forward and not allow them to hear you moving forward and then just peek the hallway and kill you so i would typically you could have been just hip fire as you're moving right put your laser on you can do it all kinds of different ways. And then if he does come out, 
I have a headshot. I'm already aiming where the head's at. I'm just using this to move. And then you can come around and you can get the kill. You can do it a bunch of ways that way. So now let's talk about another portion of this step. And that is the awkward reposition. The reposition that makes you feel like you're probably going to get killed, but most of the time works. And the reason why is because they can't expect you to be there. When I'm right here and I'm holding this tight angle and I'm playing very well, right? This guy's like, man, I can't get this guy. He's holding that tight angle. He keeps repeating. He keeps moving. You want to know where a good spot would be for me to move? Right here. Without a laser on. Sit right here. And I guarantee you would probably get the kill over holding this angle. And the reason why is because nobody expects you to be right here. So when when it, when somebody is searching for somebody, right? I'm getting, I'm getting information. When I see somebody... My thought before I peek this is I already know where I'm shooting, right? I seen him peeking this. I know that I'm going like this. If you're right here in the middle of the hallway, I'm going to have to adjust to where you are from where I seen you last, which means you now in that fight have the upper hand because you're watching my one spot. Now I'm watching multiple spots because I have to trade where i'm where where i see you right i'm reacting to where you're at you're being proactive in that part of the fight and you're not just playing defensively you're now playing offensively and now i'm having to react to what you just did whereas if you're right there right i'm just gonna if i'm right here and then i'm like oh i literally have to move my reticle so that is basically how you would win a fight, how you would gain the upper hand in that situation. Something else I want to talk about, <clears throat> and this is going to be the third point. We'll also go over some of the other points in the midst of this conversation. But the very third point is always, always, always be aware of different lines of sight. Be aware of your surroundings. And when you are holding an angle, never allow yourself to be tunnel visioned on that angle you have to be paying attention to what is happening around you as a whole instead of just allowing yourself to like vignette on that one target that one angle and just hold it literally until everything else fades you don't want to allow yourself to do that so i'm going to give you a good example of that if i'm fighting a duo right here okay let's bring somebody else into the picture and i came right here because i want hard cover i want to be protected and i'm going to hold this tight angle right here right I'm fighting a dude on the stairwell. This dude comes to his buddy. Hey, he's in first floor elbow. You know what his buddy's going to do? Hey, a good player. He's going to say, keep him on the stairs. I got this. But look at me. I'm over here, hard stuck. I don't know necessarily if there's more than one. Always assume there's more than one. In this game, always assume there's more than one player. Make sure that you're, just like you would IRL, make sure that you're, Looking around, checking out the situation, never let your guard down after you get the first kill. Especially in Tarkov, there's, they have a saying in Tarkov, it says there's always one more. So always treat every situation like there's possibly one more. This duo tells his player where I'm at. He gives up my location. He's keeping me busy right here and I'm focused right here. I'm not thinking about what's happening above me. I'm not thinking about what's happening behind me. I'm not thinking about which we're, we're pretty much safe right here, right? Look where we're open to. This is a very common window to get shot through. And where his buddy would sit is at the stairs of second story. Where he at, and I'm gonna show you guys the line of sights that you get through these windows because people have no idea that you have them. And I've gotten multiple kills from these line of sights. It's gonna be a little bit harder to see because it's raining, but you still can see them, especially if you have like a voodoo or a vortex or something. So you just sit right here. It's in a bush. It's very hard to see somebody in this bush and they're gonna shoot right here and they're gonna get the kill and their buddy never even had to do anything but keep me distracted now if he sees me here the first thing that i want to do just in case that were to happen is i want to move i have a couple options i can either sit here in an inconspicuous spot which i've got many kills here because nobody's expecting me to stand here right also it's a little bit harder to see back here because it's dark so Pay attention to your surroundings. Is it dark? Is there a light? Where am I sitting? Am I underneath a light like this? And sitting here is actually a very good spot. I'm protected. 
most likely nobody's going to try to shoot through this and also i don't even know what the pen is on here but i have never been killed through this door i've had one person or two people try but if that does happen you can just push up against this and most likely you can fire back as well um but but you're pretty protected right here i like to go from right here then i'm like oh shoot i'm exposed right here let's go ahead and move and I'll sit right here and I'll go like this. And sometimes I will get the kill. Um, the same thing with being in here. When you're waiting for somebody, like let's say you hear somebody in the back right here and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get them, I'm waiting right here. You need to pay attention. People can see you and people will kill you through this kitchen window. People will run right up to the back and look in here. And this is a very common spot for people to try to hold an angle, even right here. When you're holding this angle and you're not paying attention, look at, look at to my right. <laughs> that window has perfect line of sight to where we're at so these are things that you guys need to be paying attention to another good one is like if you're right here and somebody keeps peeking you and you guys are exchanging and you're shooting you could move up to like right here and do the same thing we just did and nobody is going to expect you to be standing in the middle of the hallway this is another place where you can easily get a kill because nobody's going to assume for you to be there right let's go back to what we were before somebody's holding this tight angle look at holding this they keep exchanging back and forth and then all of a sudden you're moving when you're shooting. I'm not, I'm not, I'm letting you shoot because obviously I don't want to get shot. And then I re-peek and then where are you? You're right here. Look at, look at this. Uh, oh, wait a minute. He's right here. It's too late. I, I'm reacting to what you just did. And I'm no longer, I no longer have the upper hand in the fight. Um, the same thing with up here. Holding this angle. Exact same thing. You got to pay attention. There's a window right here. Look where the stairs, the top of the stairs can see directly in here. And up here is the exact same thing. It's just like right here. Look at these lines of sights. I've got kills in here before when someone is waiting for somebody to push the stairs, pushing the stairs slowly, waiting for an angle up here. And I'm in the camp. Do you see the tent? All you have to do is sit in the camp area and you can see clearly into the stairwell in second and third. That's an easy kill. <clears throat> this angle that people like to sit in, the one that I was telling you about, they will sit here until you push them. All you have to do is have your buddy go right into this area. There's a hill there, which means they have the high ground and you can see clearly up into here. Now I'm gonna show you where those lines of sights are. <clears throat> all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here. And I'm gonna use my voodoo and I'm gonna shoot you right in that door. Look at this. I can, I can literally have a clear shot right here it's inconspicuous. You're not looking way out here and I can see you perfectly fine. The other one that I was telling you guys about. I can see clear into second, okay? Oops, very, very common to be able to sit here. It's hard to see you and I can see clearly right here. My boy tells me he's on the stairs and somebody's in first floor elbow. I could even do this, jack you up, force you to move and pay attention to me, all eyes on me, and my buddy can push you. There's just so many things that you have to pay attention to in this game. So to wrap up the three tips for today, tip number one, when is it okay to hold an angle? When your location is unknown. Tip number two, when should you stop holding an angle? When your location is known. Always continually break that line of sight. Keep somebody guessing. And tip number three, pay attention to your surroundings as a whole. Don't allow yourself to get tunnel visioned. And what you want to do is if you are going to hold an angle, since that's what we're talking about, is you want to constantly reposition and hold an inconspicuous angle. Be somewhere they're not expecting. Allow yourself to get the upper hand in the fight and win that fight. Also, of course, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I would love to talk to you guys about different PVP stuff. And if you guys have an idea for more PVP episodes, let me know what you guys wanna learn when it comes to PVP. Good luck. Thank you guys so much for watching another video. If you guys got some value out of today's video, make sure you guys smash the like button. It does go a long way for the channel. And if you guys wanna see more free Tarkov content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. You can always hit the bell if you wanna be notified when videos go live. I would love to have you guys by the stream. We're live every single morning, except for some Sundays, bright and early, grab caffeine, and I will hopefully see you there. I hope you guys are very blessed. Hope you have an amazing day or night, depending on where you're at in the world. Don't go anywhere. If you guys have been here, you know the drill. There's more videos for you. Check those out. I will catch you guys on the next one. And as always, happy raids, my friend.